My primary interest is in artificial intelligence. Uh, so I, my sort of driving motivation is to try to build systems that are uh, intelligent at a really human level. Um, whereas a lot of artificial intelligence right now is sort of focused on building systems that are intelligent at a machine level. I'm interested in building machines that are, uh, can relate to human beings. Um, uh, one of my main focuses in that area is to look at emotions. And I believe that uh, human beings uh, interact with each other um, fairly largely on an emotional basis in the first instance. And so I would like to try to build machines that can uh, have a way of understanding human emotion and have a way of reacting to it and a way of um, dealing with it so that they're more easy to use, more aligned with the humans that they're trying to, that they're trying to interact with. So in the case of Alzheimer's disease, this is, uh, uh, the problem is sort of compounded because um, there's, a, there's many emotional factors that come with, uh, with the disease. And um, so we're, I'm very interested in looking into that space as well. Uh, to, that's what our research is on as far as Alzheimer's goes. So I'm actually the, the chair, well I just stopped being, I'm the immediate past chair of the uh, technology professional interest area, one of the iStart uh, PIAs. Uh, and we had a one day pre-conference on Saturday uh, where we highlighted some of the work ongoing in technology and dementia. Um, in the care of dementia. And uh, our sort of main focus, one of our big focuses was on uh, user-centered design. So trying to design technologies in with the cooperation of people who are gonna be using them. So there's a big push on right now in technology development and Alzheimer's disease to sort of do it in a way that is, tries to maximize how well it's going to work with the people that it's designed for. And um, we're doing that by essentially building the technology with those people, right? So they're involved in the design and the, and the build of it. Um, so that's sort of one part. The second part was on the uh, data analytics side. So there's a lot of interest here in saying, well, can we use all this data that we have uh, in order to extract some relevant information, maybe behaviors of people with Alzheimer's. I saw a session yesterday on online uh, content, so trying to understand the behaviors of people interacting with, with online content, for example, um, and a variety of other things like that.